What's good, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on XRP and crypto with Ichimoku analysis. And today, I'm going to be looking at XRP. We're going to be going over what happened last. You guys, uh, you know, XRP is on the move, you know, very soon. I, I, I really believe it's going to move soon. But, you know, we could see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, I do want to say this. XRP has been <laughs> a interesting ride for the last three years and the developments that have been going on. But uh, before I get into anything else right now, I just want to you know give God glory, give God praise because I just finished doing a, a video. This is going to be my second video for the day. But I just finished recording a video on my darkest thoughts, so feel free to watch that. I'm going to link the... Uh, the video in the description below so you can uh, you know in the comment section below so you can catch it but yeah this you know lord has been so good to me i just had to get that out there hope you guys watch that video it's in the comment section i'm gonna link it but what i want to say i just wanted to give the, uh, the lord praise and thanks at this hour because y'all don't know what he's you know brought me through but it's all it's a, almost an hour long video but you'll definitely learn where i was coming from and learn about me as a person as well so that being said thank you for watching this part we're going to jump right into the technical analysis let's get it you guys we're now looking at xrp uh, okay so pretty much basically really the same thing going on we're still underneath the cloud we're still trapped in this range it's no big deal right now because xrp has not made a real move but you know like i said i still believe that we could you know come up higher eventually and everything's all said and done but we still don't have any signs of that happening right now uh Looks like we're just ranging here. Like I've been saying, key, key June is flat, which means the market's in a, um, a range. And here we need to hold this price. Like we really need to hold this price right here at 17 and a half cents. We can't, price will drop and we'll see, you know, price is moving over. The uh, thing that I don't like here, the fan B, and secret span A's both angled down, which is not a good sign. So whenever we get, you know, this action here, price tends to drop. So, you know, this is what I'm kind of worried about. So this here, this was this. But, you know, looking at it, it looks like price may want to drop again. As we look down on the uh, daily time frame, we're still underneath this cloud. This is what I like for sure. That this part is flat. Saying that this market is, you know, it's flat right here. Um, whenever we see that secret span B e and A are, you know, pretty much flat, that's letting us know that the market's gonna be in a range as you see right here is the market's ranging right here. This is also a good sign because it's showing that the market's out of equilibrium. And as long as the market's out of equilibrium, you know, that's a good chance for us to bounce off support, go back to the upside. So that's also a good sign right there. We have been holding up the last couple of days. Here, this is what I get concerned because we're still in the range here. It's ugly. You can spend it. A and B are both flat. Key to the flat. But the good thing is right here, what I'm really paying attention to, where it is. Hmm. Yeah, right here. This area in particular is where I'm concerned with what price potentially do to me. All right. So what I see here is well, we're in a bullish TK zone. So as soon as this thing crosses, we might get multiple crosses right here. But once we're underneath the cloud this close, this is when I start to get concerned with the market because, because you know, like I said, we're gonna range in here, but 
he has to get above this level to move higher, like I've been saying. But depending on where Chiku Span is, by the time that we get here, if we get a bullish cross here, that'll be very interesting to see what happens with the price. Uh, going down to the one hour chart, we are showing some bullish signs here. Even though the market's flat here, this is a bullish cloud. What we need to do on the one hour, even to just make a move, cheaper Spanish free, so that's a good sign. The biggest thing that we need to do right here is to break this fractal level here. And we need to break this fractal level here. If we can't get that while Chiku spends free at this point, expect the prices to, you know, to bounce off here, come down, or, you know, either come here, break this level, go higher, test this. If we can get a break here, move higher. But Chiku spend is free. This is the time to do it now. What we need to see to even make prices go higher, we need to see Chiku spend A and B pointed to the upside. And we need to see Ijun and the Tinkinson go up together like this. They're getting a bullish, bearish cross right here. So we need to avoid that at all costs. Looking at our 15, this is my last chart I'm going to be looking at. As you see here, prices are just declining in this uh, bearish channel. We about had one, two, three touches on this channel. And then you see we had one, two, three touches here. So let me go ahead and highlight that. Three touches there as well. So and now we are touching at the top here. You see that it has been a cluster in this area at this moment. Oh. So within this red zone, we have to stay above this level right here. We cannot afford to break down past this level. It'll take us even lower price. So, you know, guys, it's, it's hard to say what's gonna happen right now. It's just, if we come a little bit closer, we're looking bearish. A oh, bigger drop. But we have to hold you know, this, this level here and this level here. Let me go ahead and put this on. So we need a bullish TK cross here. We need to spend B, a flat wall A that's doing this. So we need this action here to go to the upside. We are getting this bullish candle currently right now. Make it cleaner for you guys. We are getting this bullish candle currently, but we still have to get above these levels on the lower chart. Our trade opportunity will come on this time frame, 15 minute time frame. We need to get above this level, like I said here. So let's see what happens, you guys. I'm not gonna say anything just yet. We need to break to the upside on this channel. But right now, I'm gonna highlight this zone blue. I'm gonna just say it's neutral right here. This is literally the move at this point because this is like do or die at this point for XRP. For long term, we need to get higher. The blue zone. Oh, we need over here. What happens? But you guys, that's my analysis for this video. Comment, subscribe, let me know what your thoughts are. And I think this is the move that we'll be going for for XRP. All right, God bless you guys and peace.